Checking the switch, so you've got a big piece of solder. Come up till it engages, then take it over the top, and that shows it has been compressed. And then you actually measure with your vernier what that is. I mean, at this stage, we're just seeing that the motor is more or less right. Let's have a look at that. Uh, You're looking for around about one mil. Okay, so that's pretty good. So that's pretty good. So the, the motor's set up pretty good. And it's also a good indication that um, the bearings are probably okay because if they were worn, um, it would start sort of getting some slap, slap and slop. So it's back where it should be. Well, the other thing we can look at at this stage is the condition of the taper for the clutch. Just spin the light round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is pretty good, this one. In fact, it's very good. There's no real sign of it slipping, um, which is all to the good. And the sort of thing you're looking for are sort of grooves all the way round. And a lot of people have make the mistake of assembling these with Loctite or something similar, which is an absolute disaster because you're doing the opposite to increasing the strength of the, the taper, you're decreasing it by introducing what is effectively a lubricant. So to get it right, you have to make, make, make sure both sides are absolutely grease-free, meticulously with degreaser, and so you get a metal-to-metal -metal fit, and that's the way a taper works.